what's up guys Siobhan here so I decided to switch from my 55 inch 4k TV and try out a projector since this is my first rodeo I decided to find a budget like 1080p projector and I just can't seem to go back to a TV I don't have like the best room for a projector setup in terms of size and a clean white wall but I still get the job done I decided to go with the Godi YG620 which is not the best name in the world but it's their latest model so you can get them from their website or Amazon for 199.99 cents right now as we speak and the original price is 259.99 cents so I guess this is a steal and for that price you will get everything you need the projector comes fully loaded with two HDMI ports, a VGA port which nobody uses anymore, two USB ports, one is a 5V out USB port and the other is a regular USB port that you could charge like any devices or just connect anything that supports a USB like a Chromecast. So naturally with all these HDMI ports you could connect your consoles, your laptops, your PC, your tablets, your DVDs, your hard drives, you get the gist. There's also an AV out port to connect external speakers and a 3.5mm headphone jack if you're that type of person. And I almost forgot the micro SD card slot that I never ever use. A little bit down from all the ports we have the power button, a keystone correction like knob and to the right is one of the surprisingly good built-in speakers which I will demo later on in the video. In my room I have this blank wall which is usually just off-centered when I had the TV there. It wasn't annoying to me or anything but I just always wondered what if I had like a big screen TV. Maybe one day I would get rich to fill up that white piece of wall. And here we are today. I didn't do anything fancy to get my projector mounted. Luckily enough I have a window above my bed that has like a little platform where I just let the projector sit. I used an extension cord to get the power cable to reach the wall outlet due to the power cable being somewhat short which kind of sucked. And from a media source as mentioned earlier I just connected it to a Google Chromecast to stream media from my tablet or my phone. But hey, it worked out perfectly fine and I like it because it's the perfect height so if I'm laying in bed or sitting up my head doesn't get in the way of the projector or anything so I guess I just got lucky where mounting and projector base setup is concerned because most people would probably have to get some DIY projector base setup which is costly to some and probably even time consuming. The projector sits about 9 feet away from the wall and I'm able to get up to 80 inches of screen real estate which is nuts. This projector is measured up to 300 inches if the projectors was further away from the wall at like 30 feet which is pretty insane to me and one day I'd have to try that out for sure. On the projector itself there's like a couple of touch features that can also be found on the remote which just are like basic navigation buttons to control in the many settings like up down left right and a return button and also an ok button. When it comes to media controls like the volume, play and the pause, those can be found on the remote. The remote is really responsive and easy to use and the good thing is that you don't have to literally point the remote on the projector to get it to work. The functions work well just pointing at the screen. Now I guess this is the part you guys all wanted to hear and it's the image quality of the projector. And let me tell you straight, I've tried a few projectors before and I returned them. This is by far the best 1080p picture quality I've seen for the $200 price point and I can watch everything comfortably on here without thinking I would have to watch it on my TV or my 4K monitors to get better quality. When I'm watching like high quality YouTube videos, MKBHD for example, Jonathan Morrison, I always want to watch it on the highest quality, the best screen and to be honest, honestly I had literally no problem watching it on this huge 80 inch screen, I enjoyed the content, everything looked sharp, everything looked vibrant and it's just an amazing picture quality for the price. And as you can see, the viewing experience is amazing, if the quality looks blurry and not sharp enough, you could control that with the focus ring and get everything leveled with the keystone ring at the back of the projector. What I realized is when I went up close to the projector things start to get pixelated and kind of blurry but that was just to be expected from a 1080p screen but from a normal viewing distance the image quality and sharpness will not be an issue. The only issue I have is the brightness which is set out 6000 lumens in low light conditions there's no worries about the quality being washed out, the colors being washed out or the brightness anything of that sort 
but if the lights are completely on and lit like if the room is super lit the viewing experience is not that enjoyable because you won't see that true rich color you won't see the deep blacks it would just look washed out and it would just not look good so when i have a few lights on in the place it doesn't look that bad but if i have all the lights on i wouldn't like enjoy watching that display but you can of course go into the settings menu and adjust the brightness the color the contrast and even the sharpness to your heart's content but to be fair a projector is not really made for a very lit environment but i have seen projectors perform better in more lit areas but those are projectors that cost over 800 to 1000 to 5000 dollars remember this projector only cost me 200 the advanced LED bulbs inside last up to 55,000 hours which means that the lamp can be used for more than 15 years or 5 hours a day. It comes with a powerful cooling system, awesome heat dispersion which are monitored by fans and the fans are audible when nothing is playing. You can literally hear the fans of course. I can hear the fan running but whenever I'm watching something the audio from the projector drowns out the fan noise which works out well for me. I know the camera mic may not pick up the best audio quality, but this is just an example of what the fans sound like when I'm running normally. And this is how the built-in speakers sound at nearly max volume and I say I'm nearly because I don't want to wake up or annoy my neighbors. Springs inside, probably. Remember the Microsoft Surface Studio from a couple years ago with the cool hinge? Yeah, think of that, but actually good. <laughs> Money for some people, but like, dude, you're framing it wrong. This isn't just a monitor stand. And, and thinking of it that way, it's, it's short-sighted, it transcends but trust me, the speakers are amazing and just blew me away. It was surprisingly good. Whenever my girlfriend comes over, she always wondered where the audio was coming from. I ask her, like, where do you think the sound is coming from? And she, she, she literally, like, thought it was coming from somewhere where the dresser was. But she might be stupid. <laughs> no cap. I had to tell her that the speakers were coming from the projector and she couldn't believe it. The built-in 5 watt speaker gives somewhat of an immersive sound which makes the viewing experience 10 times better. So yeah, I'm really impressed with the projector. It has all the features you'd want in a budget projector and for the price, the Godi YG620 is a no-brainer. For $200, this is a great investment to get into the home theater game. And you know what they say, once you go big, you can never go back. So I hope this review helped you with your purchase decision. I reached out to Godi and they sent me a few discount links that you guys could use, which will be found down below in the description. If you're new, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe because for some reason the YouTube algorithm likes when you do that and will push my content out to more people. As always guys, love, peace, and tweaks. Signing out.